So far, the only pages on our site is the articles page, so the home page that lists all of our blog articles and the individual blog article page where you can read that post. But most websites also have perhaps an about page and a contact page. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how we add more pages to our site and edit those inside of Total CMS. So let's go to RapidWeaver and we'll add a new stacks page and I'm going to call this one About. And in the general settings of the page inspector here, change the folder name to About and the file name to index.php. Then, as with all new pages on the site, we need to add the site styles partial. So drop that into the top here and hide it to save some space. Then what we're going to do is use the foundation one column stack for our layout. And then what we're going to do is set up some content in here. Firstly, I'm going to add some static content and then I'm going to show you how you convert that over to be editable inside of Total CMS. So we're going to be focusing on the foundation stacks. And the first thing we'll do is add a header and then a paragraph of text. And we'll just style these slightly. So we'll go to the stack settings. We'll align this to the center. We'll set this as an H1. And we'll do the same with the paragraph. We'll align to center. And we'll just say about me, for example. And then we'll go and preview this in the browser. So press Command P. And you'll see we get the about me text. And this is all static. However, it has been added to our page. So we'll just style this a little bit more and then as I say, we'll look at how we convert this over to being editable inside of Total CMS. So go to the one column foundation stack, we'll add our padding, so five rems at the top and the bottom. And perhaps we'll set the max width to be, a, and perhaps we'll set the max width to be 780 as well. Okay, let's publish that up to the live server. And once that's done, we'll go back to Safari and refresh our home page. And you'll see we now have the about page, which is on forward slash about. And we've got that text. But as I say, this is static text. We can't log in and edit this at the moment. So let's have a look at how we do that. So back to RapidWeaver. And what we'll do is add another stacks page. And we're going to call this one also about. But I'm going to drag this to the bottom of the page list here. Then what we want to do is change the folder name. So again, we're gonna say, then we need to change the folder name. Now, because this is going to be the admin page for our about page, we want to put this inside of the admin folder. So we'll say forward slash admin, forward slash about. And then we'll change the file name to be index.php. Then what we want to do is also add in the site styles partial and the admin core partial because as I say, this is the admin page for the about page. And we'll hide both of those so we've got a bit more space. Okay, then what we're going to do is add a one column foundation stack for our layout. And then we're going to have a look at adding a text CMS stack to edit both the title and paragraph of text on the about page. So go to your total CMS admin stacks, scroll down and drop a text stack into here. Then what we're going to do is add a foundation header. So we'll add that in above there. And we'll just say page header, like so. Then we'll change the text settings here. So go to the stack settings in the page inspector. We're going to change the CMS ID. Again, we always need to provide a unique ID for all the pieces of content on our site. So what I like to do is prefix the ID with the page that this is associated with. So in this case, it's about, and then I'm going to say page title or page header, in fact. Then we're going to change the text editor settings here. We're going to have a text slash markdown editor, and we're only going to have one line because this is just a header. This isn't a multi-line piece of content. We're going to allow markdown formatting and we'll leave the other settings as they are. Okay, then what we're going to do is duplicate these for the paragraph of text below. So we'll change this header to say main content. And then what we're going to do is allow this text area to be a multi-line piece of content. 
So we could just select the hip wig editor and we can set the height perhaps to be 400 pixels. And then what we need to do is not forget to change the CMS ID. So in this case, this is the about page content, like so. Okay, once we've got those added, what we need to do is go back to the public about page and update the content to use the total CMS content stacks. So let's go to the about page here. And what we'll do is go to the total CMS folder and scroll down to the content stacks. And what we need to do is drag and drop in a text stack here. So I'm going to drop it in above the about me header. We need to update the CMS ID. So this is the about page header. Then what we're going to do is change this to be format and markdown. We're going to set the alignment to be center. And this is so it's going to match the existing header. We're going to set the font to be the H1 family. And we'll set the style to be default as well. Then what we'll do is duplicate this text stack below or above the paragraph of text and we'll just update the uh, CMS ID to be about page content. So again, this is matching up the ID that we used in the admin page. Now the settings for this or the display settings for this should be plain text and hip wig. And that's because we were using the hip wig editor. And we'll have a look at what that does in just a minute when we publish this online. So just to recap very quickly here, what we've done is we've set up an about admin page. We've added a page header text input and a main content text input. What we've then done is on the about page added two total CMS content stacks to add those pieces of admin content to our public site. Okay, so rather than trying to explain this further, let's publish these changes up to the server and have a look and see if everything's working. But actually, just before we do that, what I've remembered is on the about page here, we'll want to not show that in the navigation. So I'm going to uncheck this option. Otherwise, we would have a link to our admin page in our public navigation bar. Okay, let's publish these changes up to the server. Once that's done, let's go back to Safari. And if we go to the home page, you'll see we still have that about page. And we still have our static content because we left that on there for now. But what we want to do is log into our admin forward slash about page and add that total CMS content. So we'll go to admin forward slash about. We'll need to log in. And once we've done so, we'll see the form with the page header and the main content. So here I'm going to say a test header from Total CMS. And then what I'm going to do is on my desktop, I have my assets folder and I have some copy. And what I'm going to do is get a long paragraph. Just copy that and paste that into the main content area here. Then I'm going to press Command S to save that and we'll see the green ticks. If we go back to the about page, we'll now see we have that test header from Total CMS, and we also have that additional paragraph of content here. So just to show you that's working, what I'm going to do is open up a new tab and go to the admin forward slash about page. And in here, let's change some of the styling for the main content. So let's perhaps make this bold and this part of this and this text maybe we'll make it underlined like so and then if we save that and if we go back to the public site and refresh you'll see we now have bold text and we have underlined text so this is the hipwig editor that i mentioned previously in action it's basically a WYSIWYG editor that allows you to style text directly inside of the browser we're going to have a look at updating these settings in just a minute so that we add a few more options but I wanted to give you the basics and show you how that works. So what we're going to do is just change this text to be about me. So we'll update that, we'll say about me, and we'll leave this text as this uh, placeholder content for now. I'll save that, go back to the live site and refresh. And there we can see we now have about me and the um, total CMS paragraph here. 
Let's go back to Rapid Weaver and delete this static content and have a look at updating that hip wig editor as well. So we'll go to Rapid Weaver, go to the About page first and delete the static content. Then what we'll do is go to the About Admin page and then on the Admin Core, open up that partial, select the Admin Core Stack and go to the Stack Settings. Then if you scroll down, you'll see Admin Core Hip Wig. This is where we can add or remove certain features from the Hipwig editor. Now the ones that I'm going to focus on just for now is the formatting. Now as you can see, there's plenty of options. I'm just going to enable a few of these just so you get an idea of how easy it is to customize this editor. So what we want is the style, alignment, the text size and the color options all available. What we're also going to enable is the image so we could add an image directly into the Hipwig editor. We're also going to add the undo and redo options, and I'm going to add vertical dividers. Okay, once you've done that, come back out and publish those changes up to the server. And once publishing is completed, if we go back to Safari, and we'll go to our admin page for the about page, refresh that, and you'll see we now have all of these new options in the Hipwig toolbar. So for example, what we could now do is select all of our text, set the alignment to be center, and we'd then be matching what we had previously. If we save that, go back and refresh, you'll see we've removed the two pieces of static content and we've aligned this to be center. This about me header is a little bit small and we'll have a look at fixing that up later on. But what I want to show you finally in the Hipwig editor is how you can add an image. So we're going to add a line break there and insert an image. So what we can do is just drop an image in from our assets folder here. So for example, let's just go into the breakfast one and we'll drag and drop in this here. And there you can see it's uploaded. We can edit that, we can crop it, we can add links and all sorts. We'll just leave it as it is for now and save that. And if we go back and refresh again, you'll see we now have that image on our page. So that's the power of the Hipwig editor. It's really flexible and you might actually be able to get away with removing the About Me header text if you wanted to and actually just include that inside of the Hipwig editor. And to do that, what you would do is just simply say about me here. Then what you can do is set the font size. Maybe you can say 36 and make it bold or even larger if you like, like so. You could save that, go back and refresh, and you could allow your users or yourself to add the header directly with inside the Hipwig editor. And what we could do is actually do that and just remove that additional piece of content from the admin area. So let's do that in Rapid Weaver actually. What we'll do is just remove the page header and we'll remove it from the public about page as well. So we just have the about page content. So that simplifies things. Okay, so finally let's just publish that up to the server as well. And we'll go back and just refresh and make sure everything's looking good. Yeah, so we now have our About Me header, some text and an image. And all of this is now controlled from within inside the Total CMS system. And that is with the About Admin page that we created earlier. Okay, I think that'll do it for this video. In the following videos, we're going to tidy up the admin pages and have a look at some of the other powerful features inside of Total CMS.